Hello everyone. <clears throat> hey guys. So that's not a very sunny weather today here, but it'll do, I think. At least to record a video, it would be suitable. So honestly, I don't know where to look. I haven't done a lot of those videos before, so I have no idea where to look in the camera. Should I look in this direction or that direction? Straight into the camera? I, I don't know. You tell me what which way is better. But anyway, so today is a special video because I want to talk about one of my favorite, if not the most favorite, writer of all time. And this is none other than Franz Kafka. So uh, I'm going to do a countdown of his best work. Uh, a few words about Kafka as a writer. Why I have such a big appeal towards him. Well, first of all, I usually say when somebody asks me what uh, attracts me in his work is that his work is usually a very good and precise representation of my dreams. So basically what I see in his books happens to me from time to time in my dreams. The feeling I get from reading those books is similar, is akin to the one I get in my dreams. I honestly believe that he actually was writing from uh, drawing his inspiration from his dreams, because it feels like that. I like the absurdity and the overall feeling of control by something you get in his books. So um, it's actually difficult to put in a few words what I really like about the writer. I think he well and truly represents the kind of world we live in, in terms of how difficult it is sometimes to be understood, how, how much uh, surreal and absurd we sometimes have in our lives. And the overall feeling of life as it is, this search for, search for meaning, uh, the nonsensity of the fact that we can't find the purpose and there seem to be no purpose at all. Uh, I guess things like that make for a very good narrative. Now let's talk about his books more specifically. I haven't read all of them. I think I've read his major work. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to really get involved with his small uh, pieces, his novels, novelettes, uh, short stories he has. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they're about, though. Uh, at the same time, I think I read enough to make a representative list of how I feel about him. Great, I was talking to you for 15 minutes and then I realized that I forgot I had forgotten to press record, so recording everything again then. So where was I? Well, I'd say that Metamorphosis is one of the least Kafka's books. And don't get me wrong, I like the book, it's very good. But I think what makes his books dreamlike and what introduces this quality is basically his ability to uh, create a breakdown between cause and effects in his stories. Something starts in a very usual way, but then it turns into something totally unexpected. So the cause doesn't lead to the expected consequence. And that's what we, I think we like uh, about his books. Uh, because it feels like in dreams. We often see dreams where something starts and then uh, turns into some, something completely different, right? Uh, one plots begin one plot begins but then it gets interrupted by another plot and things like this at uh, place number four goes to the famous trial so probably it's the most famous book by uh, Kafka and I think it's quite relevant these days the book is basically about a man who is unfairly judged and I'm not going to say what happened to him no spoilers uh, uh, what happened to him in the end, I mean. But basically he is accused of something he doesn't know of and no one is willing to tell him what he's accused of. And it represents a, uh, a judicial system at its worst. Basically, 
we see a lot of that in a lot of repressive states uh, when people are judged just for their opinions, cases are rigged, uh, evidence is falsified and we get a lot of things like this and people are put in prisons unfairly on no grounds other than being out of favor with somebody in power. So and um, that's what, what that is what that what makes that is what makes this book so special because I think it's a good representation of the absurdity and unfairness of uh, uh, similar situations. Place number two goes to well the book which is probably overlooked a lot is it is called America and unfortunately it's yet another one of his unfinished works and I believe it was if it had been finished it would be my most favorite book by far basically the story in this book revolves around a man who immigrates uh, to uh, the States and again Kafka goes into his usual um, style of representing everything in a very surreal way. There is just one this one scene which I liked a lot. Well, one of the things, one of the scenes I liked, uh, where a man uh, comes to his friend to an apartment, and uh, there is this uh, there is the owner's the flat owner's girlfriend uh, also involved in that. So they live there and slowly the life uh, in their apartment uh, becomes something akin to a life in a state where you have different zones, different rules and things like that. And it's just really entertaining. One of the best descriptions of something surreal like this I've ever seen. So I highly recommend it. And the first book on my list is the is obviously the castle. Uh, another unfinished work, which is a big shame. I think it it is a masterpiece in a way, but it would have been even better if it had been finished. So uh, the book is about a man who tries to get a, to get a job. Uh, he comes to a small town or even a village, and to get a job you need to get to the highest authority who live, uh, they live in a castle, that's why it's called the castle. And, uh, well, basically you read through how he goes uh, through the motions of <laughs> getting this job. And the thing is, uh, in real life, you would it would be something less, more or less easy. You would just need to get to the right person and get the right documents. Uh, but in this book, uh, every step he makes is interrupted by something. So you know it's like in dreams, uh, this feeling sometimes you get when you feel stiff and you cannot move even though you want to do something everything seems slow. That's the feeling you get from reading this book. So and of course it's a, an amazing, I'd say impeccable representation of what bureaucracy is. It is like a bog it it mires you down, it just entangles you and stops you from moving. Lots of documents, red tape and everything. So that's here you have it in this book. This is literally a legal nightmare. So but of course uh, what's great about his work is that a lot of books, a lot of topics can be understood differently at a different angle all depends on what you're looking for so whether uh, it can be a representation of bureaucracy as I have already mentioned but it can be also some allegory on how life it is sometimes when you have a dream you have a goal but it's so difficult to 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 get there you seem to be stuck in a rut and things like that so here you have it four books I liked most from Kafka. I haven't read everything, so please in the comments, I would really appreciate it if you give, if you give me some advice on what to read next. Maybe there is something I missed. 
which I shouldn't have. And what about you guys? What is your favorite Kaf Kafka book? Well, maybe you're not a fan and you have a reason why. So let me know in the comments, please.